Welcome to Tech Tips and Tricks right here. My name is Rudy. Today I'm going to get into doing a bit of a performance test on the brand new MSI Content Creator 17. I'm sure you guys have seen my uh, first impression unboxing kind of video. I did get a lot of comments in there saying you guys want to see some performance numbers. Well, today we're going to get right into it. Take a look at the beautiful sunshine out here and I'm in the mountains up here this afternoon. I did get some uh, request and saying you guys want to see how nice and bright the screen is out here in the daylight. Well, I brought my phone out here as well so you guys can see a little bit of comparisons on what the brightness of the screen is. As you guys can see, I uh, turned it up as far as I can all the way at 100%. It's got pretty good uh, anti-glare uh, on the screen and everything but it is a very nice solid chassis as you guys can see it's got almost no flex a little tiny bit very minimal flexibility in the chassis it seems to be very solid after about a week or so of using this laptop I have to say the trackpad is absolutely amazing I've had no issues with it so far it's got the clicking at the end of it it's got the built-in fingerprint uh, scanner right there for unlocking your device and I have to say that is super super quick in unlocking your device here's a take a look at the uh, keyboard and I really do like that they have the number pad right here let me see if I can show you guys what the uh, keys sound like Before we get into all the numbers of the performance of this MSI Content Creator 17 laptop, I want to ask you guys to hit that big fat thumbs up down below and share this video. And please leave a comment down below. That really helps the YouTube algorithm. Since I am new here on the tech community, I appreciate you guys coming in and subscribing to my channel as well. So with that being said, why not uh, do a editing uh, video? I've already edited this video uh, together a little bit. So what I want to show you guys is uh, I got all my uh, quality here for playback and all of that set to high, high quality playback and everything. So let me show you guys when you scrub around here. It is a tiny little bit choppy as you guys can see. But for the most part, if you're just moving fairly slowly, it is basically right there. If you're just jumping back and forth, as you guys can see, it's pretty much instantly right there where you want to be, right? So that part is pretty good. Let me do a playback here and just uh, hit the play here and let you guys see there will be no frames drop. Look like my old one that is an eight. As you guys can see, there's absolutely no frames being dropped, even playing this at full settings. So let's go ahead and export this particular video and let's see how long it's going to take for my uh, laptop to export this video. It's an 8 minute and 16 second video. We're going to be exporting it in uh, 4K. So let's go ahead and hit uh, our export settings here. I'm going to be exporting this one at HEVC which is known as H.26 uh, format. So you guys can see it's going to be hardware encoding accelerated. So let's just go through these settings here real quickly so you guys can see all the settings that I have clicked on. So I've set it to highest. I got uh, maximum render quality and all of that. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be timing this to see how long it's going to take to export this video. So let's get to it. Let's have a look at Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. I'm currently running version uh, 6.5.2.40 and here it gives you a little bit of an overview on all the details about my uh, processor. We got the Attention i7-10875H. They got so many numbers nowadays. We got the Comet Lake 8 core 16 hyper threads and uh, we got a total of 32 gigabytes in dual channel uh, Samsung DIMMs installed for uh, RAM and uh, 
it was manufactured by uh, uh, Macro Star International, I guess that's what you call them. We got the NVIDIA GTX 2080 Super Max Q version. And I, I know on here it looks wrong. On here it says it has 4 gigs of RAM, but it actually has 8. So I'm not sure why this utility is not reading it correctly. But that just kind of gives you guys an overview on what we got. And I'm going to accept the advanced tuning. And uh, so you guys can see all the details in the right hand corner right here. I'm going to scroll through it so you guys can have a look at all the details. If you guys want to know all the details about the laptop, you guys can pause the video if I'm going too fast and have a look at all of that. I have already uh, added some of the information on the bottom here so you will be able to see some of the details on how much power, if it's power uh, throttling or not. And this is how much power the CPU uses and uh, I think we got the graphics card in here. We're not really going to be testing the graphics card with this utility but we are going to do a stress test. So let's get right into it. I'm going to run all, three, uh, all four of these tests right here and I'm just going to fast forward them. I'm going to do a five minute run on each test and then you guys can see the fast forward playing on it. I'm going to run the uh, Intel Extreme Tuning Utilities uh, Benchmark, the built-in one here. There's actually two of them, and I'm going to run both of them. And uh, later, we will be running the uh, 3D uh, Mark uh, Benchmark, so stick around for that. And we'll also be running the uh, Unity Heaven uh, Benchmark as well. So I know all of these, they take a good long while. So stick around, and uh, we'll get to all of those tests here eventually. got a score of 2941 so let's go ahead and run the uh, beta one here as well I know that one uh, does some different tests so let's go ahead and run that as well 
and you guys can uh, have a look and see how that goes this one seems to be moving fairly quickly at the moment well we got a number of 2482 for uh the Intel uh, XTU Benchmark Beta 2. So that is done. So let's go to the next step, which I have not talked about yet. And that is that I am actually running the NVIDIA uh, Studio drivers. And the way you can tell is by clicking right here. And you guys can actually uh, choose which one you want to run. Now I like the studio one because that gives me better performance for uh, rendering, uh, video editing and all that stuff. But I just thought that would be a good idea to mention that as well. Here are the Geekbench numbers for single core we got 955, for uh, multi core we got 5581. So you guys can see all the uh, information on the uh, laptop and all of that. So you can see all the single scores, all of the numbers are right here. So take a good look at them. If you need to pause it, just go ahead and do that. Many of you guys like to see the numbers of the Cinebench R20. So let's go ahead and run it and let's take a look and see what kind of scores we can get out of this. I got a score of 29.79. I have gotten better scores as you guys can see right here. One of my runs I got 35.42 uh, at one time but I'm not sure exactly why I got lower runs this time but that's the number. Let's run the 3D Mark Time Spy and we got the uh, the Rex X12 running as well. I don't have the full version because I can't quite afford it just yet, but let's run the test and see where we stand with this test, right? The results are in, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look on what we got. We got a score of 7,170. Now, because I'm new to all of this, I don't know how good that really is, but you guys can see we got uh, the first graphic test got us 46.97 frames a second you guys can look at all the numbers and compare it to your own system and uh, make your own decisions on whether or not this whole thing is good numbers or not but this laptop is not intended actually for gaming anyways but some of you guys might want to occasionally uh, use it for that and why not right that's run unigen heaven benchmark and uh, we're going to be running it at extreme so that will run everything uh, at very very high settings let's take a look and see where our number is going to be at let's just give it a second to open everything up here this one will give you an idea on uh, settings here these are uh, the settings that we're using quality is high so let's run the benchmark and see what our numbers are going to be. You'll see the uh, frames uh, per second down here. You can see the graphics card numbers up there. That's it guys. You guys can see the numbers right there. We got a score of 2582. An average, I guess, uh, 
frame rate of around 100 and uh, minimum frame rate was 28.3 and maximum was 180. Let's see how long it's going to take to encode or transcode this video. It's about an 8 minute video that I got in here. It's a 4K. Just going to go over the dimensions right here, filters. I set the video quality to uh, high and also same thing here, encoder to uh, high quality. And I select it to uh, encode it in H.265. Supposed to use the NVIDIA acceleration uh, graphics there. So let's give this a try and uh, see how long it's going to take to uh, transcode this video. That's it guys, it took 6 minutes and 53 seconds to do it. I think that's not too bad myself because uh, I've done this on my old computer before and it took forever but sometimes you gotta do this right in order for you to be able to encode from one uh, format to a different format for your editors right well there you guys have it i really really uh do hope that you guys made it all the way to the end and if you did i really appreciate that i've worked very very hard on putting this together for you guys this took me many many hours of uh doing all the tests and editing and all that stuff so i do really appreciate it if you guys could give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you guys would like to see more, that would be uh, really appreciated if you guys leave me in the comments uh, down below on what else I missed or maybe you guys want to see a particular test me doing or whatever. But with that being said, thank you very much for uh, watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.